In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, hearing the voice of God coming from the middle of the bush, said to him, I am to go then to the sons of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. But if they ask me what is his name, what am I to tell them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. This he added is what you must say to the sons of Israel. I am has sent me to you. And God said, Let also said to Moses, You are to say to the sons of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name for all time. By this name I shall be invoked for all generations to come. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and tell them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, has appeared to me, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, and he has said to me, I have visited you and seen all that the Egyptians are doing to you, and so I have resolved to bring you out of Egypt, where you are the oppressed, into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jezebites to a land where milk and honey flow. He listened to your words, and with the elders of the Israel, you are to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord of God, the Hebrews, has come to meet us. Give us leave then to make three days' journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. For myself, knowing that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless he is forced by a mighty hand, I shall show my power and strike Egypt with all the wonders I am going to work there. After this, he will let you go. The word of the Lord. The response is, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, tell his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgment he spoke. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He gave his people increase. He made them stronger than their foes. Whose hearts he turned to hate his people and to deal deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Then he sent Moses his servant and Aaron the man he had chosen, 
Through them he showed his marvels and his wonders in the country of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, hi there. As we come to the end of our second virtual pilgrimage to Lord, we do so surely with some mixed feelings. We are finishing a pilgrimage to Lord for the first time in many years without Monsignor Tony Duffy. I know how much many of you will miss him and how strange it will be not to have him there to guide us in the future. But Lord always teaches us gently how to say goodbye. Goodbye to the sick, to the dying, to those we love and those who have been our friends in Lord and in life. So may Tony and all the faithful departed we have known there rest in peace. Life goes on, however, and we are now in the hands of Canon James Tracy as our new pilgrimage director. Our prayers and congratulations go with him as he becomes not only our director, but also a canon of the Archdiocese. Ad multis annos, James. Meanwhile, a little word about our celebration today. We have been praying this week, <clears throat> concentrating upon the idea of Our Lady as she described herself to Bernadette, that is, as the Immaculate Conception. It is something truly special to imagine Our Lady herself describing her place in creation and in salvation history, and to see again how right, how beautiful, how fitting that title is for her as the mother of God. She is born without sin for the sake of her son, the eternal word of God. She is conceived immaculate for her own sake in a way to be a worthy vessel of God's grace. And she is born in a way immaculate for us too as an example that says to us that purity and goodness in this life are not superhuman but a grace-filled possibility for us all. We are not born without sin, but we aspire to imitate in some small way how Mary gives her son to the world. If we cannot imitate her innocence, let's at least learn to imitate her devotion to her son, remembering when he was a child, or when she stood at the foot of the cross, or when she was in the midst of the apostles and the early church. At prayer. Finally, thank you to all those who have compiled our virtual pilgrimage again this year, and thank you to all of you for persevering in our little time of pilgrimage again this year. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.
Today the Lord, gentle and humble of heart, calls us to him and his service. We turn to him and we offer up our prayers. For the church throughout the world, and especially in our own archdiocese, may God bless and direct our efforts to build the kingdom of love, justice and peace. Lord, hear us. For the grace to keep the spirit of Lourdes alive throughout the year, may our prayer, penance and devotion to Our Lady help us to become better people. Lord, hear us. For our families, friends and all who have asked our prayers and all who need our prayers, that the loving Lord who knows their needs may grant them. Lord, hear us. For the sick and all who suffer, may the power of God's healing love touch their lives and fill them with strength and hope. Lord, hear us. For those who we have loved and lost, family members, fellow parishioners and pilgrims, that the Lord may welcome them home and comfort those who miss them. Lord, hear us. We pause for a moment to add our own special prayers today. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty God, the Mother of your divine Son, was conceived immaculate in order to bear Christ worthily to the world. In spite of our weakness, grant us, by her powerful intercession, something of her purity, something of her love, and something of her devotion to Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that, when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he set the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Andrew and St. Margaret, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and that I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.